So I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Forget. How long does it take for people? Just a minute. Let's see here. Hello. We'll just wait here just for a second to see if more people come on. Hey, everybody. So um, what I want to share is an update on Jim. Um, it's been a week. Uh, since he had his um, surgery. And as everybody knows, um, he did not have to have a colostomy bag. Uh, they were able to get everything out successfully. And then on Monday, uh, they did biopsies um, of the other tumor that was up under his arm and his lymph node. Uh, we do not have the results back of the uh, biopsies or are from the tumor yet. Um, he had had all of his lines taken out and everything. And uh, yesterday they took the catheter out. And when I talked to everybody last night, um, he was not able to go to the bathroom. And we thought that if he wasn't able to go, that maybe, you know, they were going to put the catheter back in. So um, they were able to do it. Well, he was able to do it. Uh, he actually went pretty much all night long. And as a result of that, um, look who's home. I'm gonna, I am gonna let you all talk to him. He's home. So here he is. Uh, hi everybody. And look who's beside me. Mr. Connor. And I'm very, I'm shocked as everybody that I'm sitting in my chair in seven days. I mean, it's hard to believe. I had my gallbladder out there and I was 10 days in the hospital. But anyway, uh, I just want to say congratulations to my surgeon, Dr. Gregory Knapp at the VG Hospital in Halifax. He did an outstanding job. We had three surgeons and two anesthesiologists do the surgery. And um, uh, one of the surgeons I talked to and I said, we we're awful lucky to get away with what we did. And, and uh, he said, no, it was the uh, expertise of the surgeon you had. He said he did things we didn't think he could do. Anyway, uh, uh, the prognosis going in wasn't good. I was going to, I was going to have a colostomy done. I was going to have my anus sewed shut. It's going to lose my prostate. It just didn't look good at all. Anyway, the end result was I didn't lose anything. No colostomy. And, uh, they did, uh, CT scan of my bladder, it came back normal. They did a colonoscopy, it gave everything came back normal. And um, so we were we were very, very lucky. And uh, he was good to check on me, but they asked me to try to get out of bed as much as you can. And I'm opened up from the top part of my belly button <laughs> down to my down below my navel. And um, he uh, he he fixed my umbilical hernia that I had there. So rather than go back in again, he fixed it all right away. But the only thing I minded was the the cat scan of the uh, the bladder. That that was a rough one to go through. Other than that, I didn't mind anything in in there, and I, I had no pain, and still not in any pain. Uh, I was on Demerol first, and then they had me on, uh, there was another drug, I don't remember the name of it, and so now. Dilaudid. You were on Dilaudid. That's the first one? The second no, one? you were on morphine first time. Oh. Anyway, I got, uh, I start seeing things. 
<laughs> when I was getting my uh, my my uh, uh, when they went into the uh, take my biopsy there in my chest here, there was a uh, you go you go into a CT scanner, and at the top of it there was a little furry fuzzy worm, like it looked like it was animated. And it was smiling down at me and the big bug eyes on it. And I said to the doctor, like they have a doctor there that runs it. And I said, I see you got your friend with you. And he said, what friend? Is it up there? <laughs> but, of course, nobody would see him. He's only me. But I was seeing things uh, in the ceiling. And it was really weird. I, as soon as I shut my eyes, something else would appear, right? Eh? But anyway... Uh, if that meant no pain, I had no pain. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we just got home here about an hour ago. And uh, we had to pick up some pain pills at the drugstore for me. And, uh, and uh, we got all these letters we're going to drop off for uh, my nurse practitioner and uh and also for VON nurses, when they come here, they'll be right. We'll be here, getting a hold of me here Monday for an assessment. So they're going to have to look after my wounds, and uh, and I have a drain here too. I get one of those things. So and I do that myself. Uh, I I had one of them before when I had my gallbladder out. There's nothing to them. You just stick it over the toilet and squirt it out. And when you put the top back on, you got to squeeze the bottle and put the top in. And that causes suction. That's how, that's how it works. So anyway, but uh, I don't mind the catheter being in uh, when I had the urine catheter because uh, it's the first time in my life I didn't have to crawl out of bed every hour in the hour and go out to the bathroom because of the pressure that was on my bladder all the time. Anyway, that's that. The operation was a complete success. And we just got to get the results back about this here. But he said it's so small that if it comes back that it's cancerous, he said we can whip that out of there. No problem. He said, we, you wouldn't even know we ever attacked it. And it'd be done in day surgery. So, but, uh, yeah, he's quite the doctor. Uh, I gave one of my books. And all the nurses on the floor got magnets and pens and, uh, and my photograph of the... Uh, of the... Uh, me with all the raccoons around me. So I, I, I looked after all three shifts. <laughs> and uh, in fact, my doctor was using my pen this morning. <clears throat> so I don't know what else to say. Other than the fact, I'm glad to be home. And no, he left. Yeah, he left. Oh, well. He wasn't. Oh, he's down on the floor. He wasn't too bothered me by me being home here. He was cuddling there, but he, I have a pillow on here on top of me, the navy blue pillow, and that's for his benefit. Because when I had the surgery before, we had to get the pillow up on top of me, so uh, he'd jump on your stomach, and he already did. <clears throat> we'll put that kitchen chair in here, and he can't. Huh? We'll put that kitchen chair in here and he can't jump up on you. We'll have you sitting there. Oh, that, that was my neighbor said that. Put the kitchen chair in here and he won't be able to sit on you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't like the hospital beds. We're not getting one. We don't need one. But uh, if uh, I like the ones where you can control... Like when you put your back up, the knees come up too. I would like that to stay put until I get up and then I want to put it up, but it doesn't work that way. 
but I laid mostly flat as I could because uh, I felt more comfortable that way. And Angie put in the TV for me, and uh, so I was mainly watching uh, ball games in the evenings. But through the day, there was people coming at you every day, poking and prodding, and and uh, physio people, and oh yeah, the physical therapy people couldn't find me. They uh, they were going to come down and ask me if I would walk the halls and get some exercise and. And twice they came to the room and I wasn't there, so they thought I was away getting his test done. And what wasn't the case, I was in the hall. <laughs> but I don't know how they could have missed me with the my bathrobe has raccoon whisper on the back with a big picture of a raccoon on my name, so they missed it. And my sister uh, Kathleen and her daughter visited me yesterday and my neighbors. And uh, came to visit me with Angie. That was a surprise. Yeah. And Angie made me laugh. And it, and I don't, and, and you know how she laughs? It makes me laugh more. And I, and I was hurt. I was getting her to shut up. <laughs> because once she starts, you can't stop her. <laughs> uh. So anyway, the uh, let them know how you're going to be out on the porch when you think you're going to be able to go on the porch because people are going to ask. Oh yeah, I won't be going on the porch yet uh, with the raccoons. Um, right now I'm in a walker, and to bring that walker out there was would terrify the raccoons. I get the I think I get the walker there. Yeah. There she is there. <laughs> but. Uh, I, th I thought if I took the walker out there, that would scare them. This fella coming out with these this big machine. Something they're not used to. But uh, uh, we'll give it a few days. If I can uh, quote and just slip out and get on the bench, I will. Yeah, it's but, uh, raining right now. You don't need to be out in the dam. No, and I and I need the walker to get from place to place right now. I got I'm not steady on my feet, and uh, my head's kind of woozy. And but that was a big, big um, surgery. It was uh, six hours, and I want to thank. Uh, his Reverend Excellency Bishop Kulik from Greensboro, Pennsylvania, who said a mass for me at the exact time I was being operated on. And it's a funny thing. Uh, my operation was delayed an hour, and, uh, and he was delayed in his mass for an hour, but he didn't know that I was delayed, so it still went on while I was being operated on. So as it worked out good, but he's a super nice guy. And uh, the God said that, that I have him, you know, in my corner. And for all you people that prayed for me, <clears throat> I can't say enough about you. Because I, uh, I do believe the power of prayer helped me through this. Uh, actually, I didn't believe I was going to be here after, after Friday. Because with everything that was going wrong with me, and my, my, they gave me, uh, I think it was 12 units of blood. They had to start off with six to get the operation going. But they, they still want to find out where why I'm not making blood and where it's going. And uh, so they're going to keep tracks on that. But uh, I felt better with all that fresh blood in me. I had to, uh, that's a lot of units to get. Well, I had my whole system replaced, didn't I? Everything. Yeah. Yeah.
Uh, anyway, okay. yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, getting all choked up here. It's all right. You deserve to get choked up. You've been up. You've been through a lot. You know. And I thank Doctor Nat for saving my life, and he said that's what I'm here for. Don't thank me. He said that's what we do. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'll give you the injury. Hey everybody, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I wanted to surprise everybody because we just didn't know last night whether he was going to get to come home or not. Um, Because it was up to him whether he could go potty or not. But anyway, I got the call this morning and um, I went and got him and I wanted to surprise you guys. So I will see you all out on the deck later. And we love you all. And thank you so much for all your support. And you want to say goodbye? You'll, and y'all y'all will see him later on tonight after I get done feeding the raccoons, okay? Y'all take care. Love you guys. Bye-bye.